Hey guys, I thought I'd actually uh, jump in and talk about putting some lubrication on your gun. So today, I'm going to be working with the G17. This is a Gen 5. You can see it does have an optic. There's a flashlight on here. It is completely empty, and that's one of the most important things to do, especially with a Glock. One of the reasons why is some firearms, you don't need to pull the actual trigger to tear it apart, but for a Glock, you do. So we just want to verify there is no ammo in here, and we're going to put our slide forwards. Now what I like to do is put my hand behind here, and you can see I pulled it back just enough right here. Now the reason why is on the left and the right hand side of that pistol, you have your two uh, clips, so you're just going to pull down on that, release it, pull your uh, trigger, and now you can remove your slide. So I'm going to take off my guide rod and spring assembly and the barrel. The barrel, you don't have to put lubrication necessarily on here. And I'm going to bring the slide over so you guys can kind of see this. Let's get it in focus. There we go. So actually on the slide, it's pretty bone dry in there. Not a huge deal. On our frame, you can see we do have some metal points. And what we're going to look for is any type of wear. And that's the part we really want to put some oil on. So I really like using... Let me spit that out of my mouth. So I really like using this right here. One of the reasons why is you do have an application needle right here. So it's super easy to pinpoint exactly where you want to put your oil or that lube. And I'm just going to start putting some oil in here. So I'm going to put a little bit right there, set this down. Now, any place where there's metal, you can see it's real shiny. I'm going to just put it right on there because that's where your slide is actually going to ride. Notice how I'm literally putting like one drop of oil on here. You don't want to put too much. If there's moisture on there, that means you can start collecting more carbon and dust build up on there. So there's no sense of putting too much on it. And I just want to put a little bit by the food feed ramp as well. Again, nothing significant. So what I'm going to do is now go back to my actual slide assembly. I'm going to take a peek at it. Where I put my oil, you can see it's shiny in here. So I'm just going to use my finger and start moving it around a little bit. Nothing too crazy. And add a little bit right inside those guide rods as well, or rails I should say. So to reassemble this, I'm going to take my barrel, slide it in, and press it all the way to the rear, which you can see I just did. And now I have a one-piece spring and guide rod. I'm going to put the bigger end right inside. I'm going to hold my barrel or my finger at the tip of the muzzle and press it back so it doesn't move forwards. And I'm just going to seat my spring assembly right inside. Now when I do that, I'm going to bring this over so you guys can probably see this a little bit if we can get it to focus. Perfect. So you can see how I have it pressed all the way down. There's a, a little cutout for it, and that's how you want to make sure it does go back inside. Now to put your slide assembly back onto your actual frame, all I'm going to do is turn it. You can see my cutouts right here, which should line up perfectly with those metal rails that we just put our oil on. Lock it to the rear, and then you can send it home. After that, I like to pull it back a few times and then lock it. I can look inside, make sure I do have some lubrication. Let's see if we can get it back in focus. There we are. You can see some of that lubrication or the glossier spots inside here. Let's go like that as well, maybe. There we are. You can see it's glossy on that right-hand side and the left-hand side. So we probably have enough in there, especially for shooting. After we're done shooting, we're going to take this back apart. This is a brand new gun, so the metal is going to start soaking in some of that oil. We'll bring it back in, and we're just trying to break it in. So we want to make sure you have the right amount of oil in there. Again, not too much, just enough so it can actually slide without any interference. Thanks for watching. Hope that helped.